Some situations are so out of the ordinary that we could never imagine finding ourselves in them. But on July 7th, 1992, Laura Cole discovered that when children are involved, almost anything can happen. Christine is a little more active than the average two-year-old that I've seen. Sometimes she can be a little mischievous and she likes to joke around and have fun. I didn't know what I tell you. She is a pain sometimes if I tell her to go wipe up her mess that she made and she won't do it. And she says, you go do it, and she's kind of bossy to me. Hang on just a second. What you need, honey? The potty. Okay, sweetie, go back there, and I'll be right back there. We're in the middle of potty training, and she's doing pretty good. So I said, go ahead, go back there, and I'll be back there in a minute. <laughs> Sounds like things are moving along ahead of schedule for you. And I heard Christine start to cry. <laughs> Melissa, can you come check on Christine, please? What's wrong? Melissa McAvoy was the Cole family's babysitter. Oh, this is Christine. She's fussing back there. Christina, what happened? I walked in the bathroom, and Christine said, my foot, my foot, my foot stuck. It's OK. I thought it was strange to find a girl in a toilet bowl. Get your mom, you OK? <laughs> Christina's foot is stuck in the toilet. What? Her foot is stuck in the toilet. And I was thinking, this is strange. I mean, there's no way a foot can go in a toilet and not come back out. Oh my gosh, it's really stuck. Yeah. It would not budge, not even a fraction of an inch. And I was afraid if I put any more pressure on her leg, um, it, it would have easily broken. I put half a bottle of dishwashing detergent down that water, and it still wasn't budging. I didn't know if it was, you know, cutting circulation off in her leg. There was just no way to tell. It was so tight in there. 911, may I help you? Um, yes, I have a problem I need some help with. Um, my two-year-old daughter mm -hmm. has got her entire leg stuck in the toilet, and I can't get it out. I'm afraid I'm going to break her leg if I try to move it. Stuck in the toilet? I know it sounds crazy, but... The lady on the end of the line kind of hesitated. And I, I had to, I felt like she was th thinking, was I serious? Okay, we'll get rescue out there. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. St. Lucie Fort Pierce County Fire Rescue Units were immediately dispatched. Among them was six-year veteran firefighter paramedic Andy McDonald. This was not a routine call, so we knew it was bound to be interesting. Which way is it in there? Anything Rescuers arrived at the bathroom within six minutes. Okay, let's try a little more soap here. Okay, it, it's slippery, but her foot's just really wedged in there. It's the rescue team was headed by Lieutenant Larry Barton. This was a serious situation. A small kid like that is scared to death as she's tied up to something and can't get away from it. Larry turned for help to the only toilet expert he knew, his fire captain, Bill Davis. I've been in construction, and I understand how these things are put together. And so uh, I said, well, I'll go ahead and take the toilet on out and we'll meet you down there in a few minutes. Yeah, we're we'll gonna take the toilet outside, outside and see what we can do with it. When I called 911, I just assumed they knew something about toilet mechanics that I didn't know. I didn't realize that they were going to have to unbolt the toilet and take the entire thing out in the driveway. She was screaming so loud because she saw all the strangers and stuff. You could probably hear her all the way down the block. John Cole had been working in the neighborhood when he decided to stop by to check on his family. The last thing he expected was to find his daughter stuck in the toilet. It's hard to, uh, to sit back and know that your child is calling out for you and not be able to do anything. I think it's probably tough on the parents. They want something to happen now. It's something, you, I mean, you could have gone there with a sledgehammer and broke the toilet open, but you wouldn't be professional. Easy, watch your leg. Watch your leg. I got the front door now. I was worried because she's only two and 
That's the first big adventure she's ever had. Nice and easy. Be careful. Take your time now. Nobody falls. Take your time. Okay, we got Take your time. We're all right. You're carrying it out. You're going now. Once I get it outside, what am I going to do with it? You know, I'm out here with a toilet in the middle of a driveway. You know, what am I going to do with it? When the chief paramedic showed up, being the authority on plumbing and what, um, he took a look at the situation and told us how they were going to have to approach the toilet and how they were going to enter it. I said, well, it looks like we're going to have to break the toilet apart. So I told him to stuff some towels around her foot so that if the toilet comes apart, that it won't cut her. I used the pick end of a pry axe to carefully chip the toilet. Up it easy. Okay, there you go. Hold on a second. The first piece that we took off, we got into the neck part of the toilet, which we didn't see what we wanted to see. So I said, let's chip it again. So we chipped it farther back. Yeah. Easy. It was pretty exciting seeing them break the toilet with the hatchet and stuff. There we go. Airline crack again. There it goes. There it is. As soon as they um, freed her foot, she jumped right up into her dad's arms <laughs> and was just, I, she stopped crying then, right away. One thing that can be learned from this is never stand up in the toilet <laughs> and never pull the handle down either when you do. <laughs> Two-year-old Christine Cole suffered only a minor cut on her foot as a result of the incident and experienced no other setbacks in completing her potty training. We laugh a little bit at it. You know, it's, it's, it's something that's changed the way we look at the bathroom, I think. Oh, boy, what a mess. Children are always going to be getting into situations, and anything can happen. I never dreamed that she would have got her foot stuck in the toilet. They don't tell you about this in the potty training manuals.